While cities all over the world are working to promote bicycle transportation through new infrastructure and initiatives, we still have a long way to go. Studies show that over 50% of Americans are interested in using a bike some of the time, but feel that the current infrastructure is too dangerous, too disconnected, or too inefficient for them to use due to unsafe bike lanes on busy roads, suddenly ending paths, and traffic signals that seem to be responsive and timed exclusively for cars, adding delay and inconvenience to people on bike. Especially on bike, wouldn't it be helpful if a traffic signal could sense our approach and know to turn green as we arrive? Or wouldn't it be nice to know whether to speed up or slow down a little to make an upcoming green light? Or at a red light, wouldn't it be nice to know how long to wait for a green? And all without pushing a button or riding over a sensor? That's what's possible with the Bike Connect system, the result of an exploratory research project between the University of Oregon and the City of Eugene, sponsored by the National Institute for Transportation and Communities. Bike Connect is a combination of new hardware, existing traffic signal data systems, and a new app-based controller and data communication system designed to give strategic priority to people on bike. There are two aspects of the Bike Connect system, the virtual sensor and the signal to user communication. Utilizing an inexpensive control box that can attach to any existing traffic signal system and a customized app, Bike Connect works like virtually pushing a crosswalk button in advance. For fixed time signals, the app can let users know to speed up, slow down, or remain at current speed to help users catch a green wave. In both cases, a virtual countdown timer can let users know how long until the green, making biking more convenient and enjoyable. We have many ideas for next steps, including installing the Bike Connect system along corridors or regions to create complete green wave systems, testing the system in additional cities and conditions, and developing a voice-activated, screenless version with additional tools for cyclists. We're looking into combining the voice-activated tools with game-like incentives to help more kids bike to school more often, and are also exploring the testing of advanced bicycle-to-vehicle and bicycle-to-infrastructure systems in a controlled bicycle and automobile simulation lab. There are many reasons to make it easier for more people to use a bike more of the time. Bicycles are space-efficient on our streets, energy efficient for our climate, cost efficient for our wallets and our taxes, good for our health, and they put smiles on our faces. We believe that people on bikes should be planned for purposefully and proactively, and the Bike Connect system can help cities make it easier for more people to bike more of the time.